Hey guys, it's Jen from Ezekiel Effect Ministries. Welcome back to the channel. Today I would love to read Psalm 56 to you. And if you can give this a thumbs up, that'd be great. Go ahead and share it. And also if you want to get notifications right away whenever I go live or have new videos, just go ahead and hit the subscribe bell. So I'd really appreciate it. So here we go. Let's dive in. And of course I'm reading from the Passion Translation and the New King James. And the Passion Translation is called Betrayed. To the pure and shining one, King David's song of derision, or sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. <laughs> For the pure and shining one, King David's golden song of instruction composed when the Philistines captured him in Goth to the tune of the oppression of the princes to come. So it says, Lord, show me your kindness and mercy for these men oppose and oppress me all day long not a day goes by without somebody harassing me do you ever have days like that so many in their pride trample me under their feet and the footnote says they war with me in the high places but in that day i'm afraid i lay down all my fears before you and I trust you with all my heart. What harm could a man bring to me? With God on my side, I will not be afraid of what comes. The roaring praises of God fill my heart as I trust his promises. Day after day, cruel critics distort my words. Constantly they, plant, they plot my collapse. They lurk in the dark, waiting, spying on the moments on the movements in secret to take me by surprise, ready to take my life. They don't deserve to get away with this. Look at their wickedness, their injustice, Lord. So here he is crying out to the Lord. He sees what's happening. He knows that God is on his side and he knows nothing bad is gonna happen, but he is still, he's still crying out to the Lord, it's still is distressing to him. It says the roaring praises of God fill my heart. And he does trust his promises, it says. He does believe that it's cruel, cruel critics, he says, distort my words. So he's obviously struggling, but he knows God is there with him. He says they don't get deserve to get away with this. Look at their wickedness, their injustice, Lord. He's lamenting to the Lord. In your fierce anger, cast them down to defeat. You've kept track of all my wandering and my weeping. You've stored my many tears in your bottle, but but one, oh sorry, not one will be lost. For they are all recorded in your book of remembrance. And that comes from Malachi 3.16. I'm just gonna turn there really quick here. Malachi 3.16. It says, Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened, and he heard them. Them is emphasized. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. So a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name. So the Lord has written those of us who fear him were written on the book of life. That's what that's what he's saying here. We're written in the book of life because he's heard our cries. He's heard what's happening and because we fear the Lord, not people, and we cry out to the Lord, he, we are in his will. We're walking in step with the Lord. It says the very moment, this is verse nine, the very moment I call out to you for a father's help, the tide of battle turns and my enemies flee. So he's not just calling out for help from the Lord who's Yahweh. He's calling out Abba from Abba Father, who's the help, who's his father. So that's pretty significant that the Lord is, he considers the Lord his father and his Lord. 
the one thing I know, God is on my side. I trust in the Lord and I praise him. So here he is coming back around now. He's lamented and now he's coming back to give God the highest praise. He trusts him. He says, I trust in the word of God and I praise him. So twice in two, in one verse, he said, I praise him. What harm could man do to me? With God on my side, I will not be afraid of what comes. So here he is declaring, I am not going to be afraid because God's on my side. So that's the way God wants us to do warfare against the enemy. He doesn't want us to sit there and just take it when the enemy is attacking us and our thoughts. He doesn't want us to just be ruminating in our thoughts. He wants us to literally stand up and make declarations, say, no, God is on my side. I will not be afraid. God is my father, and I know he will vindicate me. I know he will He will help me. That's what David is doing. He knows his authority that's been given to him because he is a son in Jesus. He says, my heart overflows with praise to God and for his promises. So he goes back to the promises of God. I will always trust in him. God is trustworthy. So I'm thanking you with all my heart, with gratitude for all you've done. So he's thanking God in advance for what God has done and what God will do. I will do everything I've promised you, I've promised you, Lord, for you have saved my soul from death and my feet from stumbling so that I can walk before the Lord, bathed in his life-giving light. And that means in his fields of life, it says. So he says, Lord, you have saved my soul from death and my feet from stumbling so that I can walk before the Lord, bathe in his life-giving light. All right, so that's the end of the Psalm. So David is walking in a place of strength. He knows Goliath and the enemies have come after him. And he also is walking in a place of strength. If you think about it, I mean, David was probably a teenager at this time and he went up against this gigantic you know, a giant, basically. He's 10 feet tall. We, When I was in Israel last year, we went to the place where David slayed, slew, <laughs> whatever the term is. He killed Goliath in this place. And it was like a grassy field. So we were there and they were talking about that. And then they, they were praying with us. That's where we got the pit bull anointing. I think if you've heard on an earlier video, I talked about the pit bull anointing. Um, but that's like you know, the fervor that David had. And that's because, again, we know our authority. When we know our authority in Christ, where we, we know we are sons and daughters of the Lord Most High, of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can take authority. We can stand in a place of strength and call on the Lord. We don't have to fight the battle by ourselves. We call on the Lord's strength. He gives us the grace to do whatever we are going to do. Maybe God says, yeah, I'm giving you the grace to say this or to do this. Or maybe the Lord's saying, no, don't go up to the hill. Just pray. Just praise me. Praise is a weapon, right? So whatever the Lord invites us to do, we got to check in with the Holy Spirit. But our authority in our identity in Christ is important to know because we do have we do have that fierceness that God has given us like David had when he killed Goliath. All he used was a sling and a stone. But because God's favor was on him, it was God's grace, he had God's power, he knew who he was in Christ, even though Jesus hadn't come yet. But he knew who he was in the Lord, and he knew that the Lord was going to be the one to unleash the wrath against the giant. So he wasn't afraid. So anyway, I hope that that blessed you today, that whatever you're facing today, whatever giants, goliaths that you're facing, maybe it's at home, maybe it's at work, maybe it's with a relationship, maybe it's with finances, maybe it's with your health. Any number of circumstances could be going on. Maybe you just got a whole storm brewing today. I just invite you to call on the name of the Lord and trust that he is enough. And if you don't know, God as your Lord and Savior. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then I just invite you to just consider that possibility. I invite you to know that Jesus loves you, that God gave us Jesus, his only son. It says in John 3, 16, he gave us his one and only son so that who should, whosoever um, receives him shall not perish. Whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. So we thank you. Um, we thank you, God. We thank you for that. So I just want to close this out with a prayer today. 
And Lord, we just we give you all the highest praise. We thank you, Lord, that your strength is enough for us. We don't have to do anything in our own strength. And when the, the giants seem to be winning, when they seem to be coming against us, when we start to feel the oppression from the enemy, Lord, we can just rest in you. We can sing the highest praises to your name. We can know that our fear is in you. And because of that, you will scare the enemy. You will thwart the enemy. You will fight the battles for us, Lord. You give us instructions on what our part is. Maybe we need to blow the victory trumpet. Maybe we need to put on praise music. Maybe we need to do flagging. Maybe we need to make declarations. Whatever it is, Lord, maybe we just need to stand on a promise that you've given us, a word, um, whatever it is, we thank you, Lord, that you give us exactly what we need and we don't need to be afraid of the enemy. And Lord, for my friends who maybe do not know you yet, Lord, I just ask you that you would encounter them, Holy Spirit, with your love and your grace and your mercy and just letting them know that, that you're there for them, that no matter what they've faced in the past, no matter how much they've messed up their life, or that circumstances have come against them, Lord, that, that you've been in their corner all along just waiting for them to come to you. So we just invite them forward with repentance that they could turn towards you and away from the sin and away from the world and accept you as their Lord and Savior and accept you as the one true God and to be freely forgiven and receive your grace and your mercy, Lord. So we give you all the praise for that today in advance. And we thank you for this time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, it's been great to be with you today. And I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. And I just hope that you're blessed. And until next time, shalom, shalom. <laughs>